so add that is the expansion actually so analyze the first thing is to be we have to analyze the learner's need skill knowledge level so before starting a course or before starting a class we should be knowing the details about the students what about the area whether they are from the city side or village side then what are all their basic skills required whether they are from computer science background or uh, whether they are from biology background i am i'm talking about uh, computer science students i am saying it as an example so then knowledge level what about i especially in government colleges they will put the seats based on the merit so students will be having some more high marks but in the affiliated colleges and private colleges in the self financial mode we cannot say that all the students will be having high marks so we should know the knowledge level also so based on this we have to decide how we are going to start the class of course then second one is designing the course uh, that is uh, we can see this model in the point of view of a teacher or in the point of view of a university person if we are from university so first we have to analyze it arhapa university is in uh, karaikudi so they will be analyzing the students or the learners in and around what are their needs their skills their knowledge level based upon that they will design the course once the course is developed they will develop the modules that is usual the usual practice is five units uh, actually i uh, the five units will not cover the entire book while preparing for the net or set exam i feel it very difficulty because already bsc computer science msc computer science mphil computer science we have seen the same syllabus but when we are going for the competitive exam that is our eligibility test either net or set the same syllabus the same books but we feel hard to attend the test the because the thing is the syllabus framed by the university or something like that it will cover only part of the units that is part of the chapters around the five units so it will be covering if 25 chapters were in the book it will be covering on just 20 to 22 or 18 only those chapters will be included in the syllabus and whenever we are facing uh, the national eligibility test or state eligibility test the syllabus will be covered on the whole that's why we feel it is hard the same papers but we feel it as hard so while developing the modules in the uh, base needs they will be uh, covering the five units first you would start with introduction and then implementation the main thing lagging in our syllabus is application part we are having a separate thing as applied mathematics applied physics applied chemistry whatever subject we are learning the main motto is what is the application in the real life the one thing we have to keep it in mind all the students were not same what we are doing now the education system now we are having us we are having monkeys we are having elephants we are having deer we are having dog we are having deer everything is in in this if they are sitting as the student and we want everybody to swim like a fish to hop like a frog to jump like a monkey to climb to run like a cheetah we want everybody to do everything that is our education today all have to learn tamil english mathematics science social whether they like it whether it comes to them or not it is our motto aim to put all the subject into the head of the students that is what going on today but our old practice is gurukulam the uniqueness of the student based on the uniqueness of the student only we will fix what this kid can do that is the main role of the guru in the kolandiki enna varum adha da solli kudutanga but now our education system is not like that make it is not making masters it is just creating everybody as service service oriented person service not the masters so while developing the modules we want specific persons all cannot be the masters in c c plus plus java in we should ask the students to select any one of the language whichever they prefer and they have to go deep into that then only they will be getting a job uh, we are having women our college is also a women's college and we feel uh, students going to the job the ratio is very very less they are going for higher education they are doing msc or mca whatever it is but the students those are going to the job is very very less then implement the learning it comes to so we are an affiliated college means autonomous college means we ourselves will analyze design a course we will develop the modules then we will implement it in learning but 
we are affiliated colleges so university is giving us this is your course this is your subject this has this much credit marks within this semester this has to be uh, finished so the first three steps is done by university and we are coming to the fourth step implement the learning so we are uh, taking the syllabus we are taking the course we are finished completing the five units the teaching with the several pedagogies and then once the teaching is over the last step is evaluating that is testing the whether the subject the knowledge have entered inside the student that verification is done with the evaluation and test autonomous colleges have their own timetable they are uh, correcting their own papers but affiliated colleges again this path will go to the university so implement learning is in our hands so as per this model it is not suitable for affiliated colleges it is suitable for universities so the next model is bloom's taxonomy ma lakshmi whether the slide is going on properly ma because i am not having the slide screen in my mobile i am having separately in the laptop ma in the screen la correct ah and the bloom's taxonomy da iruka okay ma'am ipo correct ah irukku ma'am bloom's taxonomy ah bloom's taxonomy already nama paatha and the five steps ka adutha okay thank you okay. so next one is bloom's taxonomy here we have six steps remember understand apply analyze evaluate and create uh, this can be seen in both the point of view of a teacher or point of view of a student first if we take that in the point of view of a student the thing is remember whatever is taught to the student it is not only merely for one semester if they are learning that question five marks question 10 marks question writing in that test then when next semester when we ask any questions in that they should not say that we cannot remember so ability to recall from the first semester or from the first standard and whatever is taught to them they should be able to remember so if we want them to remember something they have to understand it properly that is the thing just um, uh, memorizing something writing the exam and then uh, leaving it is not a matter so whatever is taught to them it should be understandable then only they can remember then the third one is they should know how to apply these concepts uh, the trigonometric formulas and everything we had from 8th 9th 10th or plus 1 plus 2 where we are applying the real time really not it is working only with the engineering people and most of us are not using that so which are the concepts we are applying it may be a electrical engineering or a electronics engineering if we ask the students to change the bulb or light or something like that they will say that it is not in the syllabus where we are applying the practical knowledge is very very important that is totally missing in today's students uh, learning sessions so the third thing is applying then fourth one is analyze okay once a thing is start to that and we know where to apply it the students have to analyze whether i am about to go in this line whether i can choose this they have to evaluate what is the subject what can be done whether it is useful for me whether i like it and at last they will create a module the module is nothing but it is their outcome or output if we see this in the teachers point of view first thing we have to remember without the book or materials we have to go to the class we must be able to remember everything uh, the students will not follow our words they will follow our activities only so if we are going to the class without the book i don't know whether it is possible in colleges because our syllabus is very much vast but i worked in a school for one year uh, but there there is a rule we should not touch the book inside the classroom so we have to remember second one is understanding so our understanding level if our understanding level is 100 percentage then only we can give the input to the students then third one is okay once this is my subject this is allotted for this semester i have to finish this syllabus within four or five and uh, probably we will get a four and a half months in the first semester and probably four months in the second semester so based upon that how far the unit is there how many chapters are included how much classes it will take so we have to analyze this and we will do this in the uh, form of uh, pre preparation Uh, that is how many hours we are going to take for each session how we are going to do this then we have to evaluate whether this syllabus can be what are the pedagogies we can use it whether i can go for a video lecture or whether i can prepare a ppt or whether i can take them to a online session 
whatever it is i have to fix it then i have to create the modules each module can be prepared in the form of a ppt or a video or a lecture method but chalk and talk mathematics papers most probably uh, chalk and talk is best suitable method so based upon the subject we can choose whichever thing we are going to have so that is bloom's taxonomy then next one is merrill's principle the third one is merrill's principle in merrill's principle we have just four steps i like merrill's principle very much because it it is suitable for today's uh, uh, necessity so the first one is accelerate knowledge with learning material familiar to learner this is a blended learning i have attended an fdp it is a three months fdp in iit bombay uh, the uh, online sessions will be with the iit bombay and then offline sessions i have attended in mount zion college pudukottai actually uh, they are uh, trainers for that iit bombay chapters so with the six classes we have got in the real time and the remaining classes in online in that uh, thing they will give, they have shown us what is blended learning that is uh, off of the classes real time and off of the classes online that is when the teacher is in some other on duty or on leave she can engage the classes from her place itself but while i was seeing that blended learning i was wondering where we are going to use this but when the pandemic situation came we can realize that the entire classes have gone in online education only so the second one is so first familiarize the students you just tell that tomorrow i am going to take this topic then they ask them to google it see the base concepts what it is what it is what are the base things introduction let them see and come otherwise give a small video to them ask them to play it at home itself then while they come with some base knowledge to the class then you can instead of starting from the very base introduction you can start with the concepts whichever you want to make them understand i done my i have done my msc computer science and arhapa university we have a hod uh, there shaktivel sir actually sir will come to the class for a semester uh, just three or four classes only he will come and he will use oisb projectors uh, his daughter was in medicine and her and it will be very nice she will be writing though she is a medical student she will be writing the programs or whatever our concepts in the oisb sheets and sir will not even touch the chalk piece but within that two hours or three hours the one session he will cover the entire unit so over the entire semester he will be just taking two to uh, three sessions but we will be able to understand the subject so that is the thing so uh, after having the base learning the second thing is giving demos through videos or ppt in the classroom and then ask them to practice ask them to know the application back to apply it practice to retain knowledge longer that is the thing so this semester if we are teaching something and after some time the student says that we cannot remember anything that is not the thing so whenever it is start it is start from the very beginning it should be in the students memory so how to relate it to make them practice to make them know it as a application so back to apply it where we can apply these things then the last one is integration apply the knowledge to the real life situation so whatever we are learning whatever the concepts we are learning if this comes to the real world so i i really like though i am from computer science uh, uh, i am a computer science faculty i like or paper very much operations is such paper it is not specifically for any uh, subject course people uh, even mathematics students physics students uh, computer science students it students commerce students everybody is having that paper and in our department uh, this is my 10th year to take the paper very very first time uh, when i came to omayal uh, ramanathan they gave this paper and i was wondering i am a computer science staff and they are giving me a maths paper but within that 6 months it was in, in practice and within this 10 years i could able to make uh, my teaching uh, to be equal unto a mathematical staff that is having uh, small tricks and uh, things to solve the problems and it is very easy for me to say the students how to tackle the situations how to uh, if there is a problem how to find a solution what are the methods so i like that paper very much so uh, merrill's principle is most suitable for today's thing so first thing is accelerate knowledge second one is demonstration third one is application and the last one is integration so next one is gagne's model uh, actually gagne's model 
uh, it is more simplified with several steps. The first one is gaining student attention. This is the very much thing required. Actually, I'm uh, a person with the uh, more, com more comfortable with the real time classes, even the online education. I don't think so how far it is useful to the students and how many of them are attending the session, how far it is interesting. Uh, yeah, real uh, class. I like the real, like, real, real time classes very much. Uh, when uh, Lakshmi said that, actually Lakshmi and uh, myself were colleagues and we started our career uh, in Umayal Ramanathan on the same year, 2012 June. Uh, but later she shifted to uh, some other place and uh, she's in your college. But now still I am in Umayal Ramanathan. Uh, so here, our first thing is to gain the student attention as a teacher. We must make them to see what, what we are going before starting the class. They, they should be ready to take what we are taking. But as, uh, as Lakshmi said, it is webinar. Actually, uh, I said whether it should be a webinar, but in this pandemic situation, it is not possible to come in real time. And uh, as we are teachers and uh, most experienced, then uh, freshers also, we are not in a position to sit for more than one hour. So I, I'm sure that I will finish this session within uh, one hour because all the things already we are using in practice, it is being stepped like, uh, with some models and some names, that's all. So student attention, uh, uh, when it is a fourth hour, when I got classes, when I got my timetable, I'll be seeing how many fourth hours I had. Because first three hours, okay, well and good. Third hour also, they will become restless. Uh, before uh, lunch, some 10 to 15 minutes only, they will not be seeing the class. Uh, fifth hour, okay, it is the last hour, we are going home, and sometimes, somewhat, they will retain. But after that lunch, that fourth hour, uh, how far you are taking interesting uh, you, classes, you will not gain the student attention. Probably I will make that classes as a value education class or Manavalakala yoga class or uh, something like that, uh, which, which will not yield more attention, more uh, the contents or uh, better I will keep it as a testable. Uh, so gaining student attention is the very first thing. And I don't know uh, whether it is interesting or, uh, about this topic. Uh, and I cannot see the faces who are attending this session. If I can see the faces, I will be able to know whether I am interesting. I am giving a, some content which is useful. Other, I have to change it. Uh, seeing the mere screen and uh, talking something, really, it is painful. But no other go, we are in webinar. Okay. So the second one is inform learning objectives. Before starting a subject itself, we should say the students what we are going to gain from this paper. So while we are introducing, this is your subject. This is my subject for this semester for you people. So this can be used in this kind. We will be saying in the point of view of the exam, questions will be coming in this one. Uh, easy to get this paper. It is a theory paper, programming paper, or whatever it is. We will be saying the students, but we have to say about the real life applications, how we can apply this paper. Or while you go for a job, how you can apply it. How the interview questions will be in this paper then third one is make students remember from past experience what are the papers already if we are going for c plus plus then we can ask them to remember what are, what they have done in c so past experience if they, they can recollect once we enter into the class the uh, total one hour we cannot uh, uh, talk inside the classroom and if we are talking they also and nowadays the students were not able to listen actually this is my 17th year of uh, uh, teaching experience and I could see two, de two decades of uh, students I am seeing and the first decade, the first 10 years and now the seven years, I, I can be able to differentiate the students. The total mentality of the students was completely changed and the last two years within this pandemic situation, I can see the phase three of my education. Uh, actually with passion, I came to teaching and I should not go, never I should sit in a software company, I have to go for a teaching. And uh, comparatively, I like college teaching and I'm not, I feel that I'm not suitable for school kids. Uh, so with passion, I came here, but now I can see the third phase of the students. Uh, the standard of the students, their uh, ability to learn, the, their interest towards the uh, learning, everything is just decreasing. That's what we are seeing every, every day. Then access to simplified learning material, but they are asking for ma'am notes some study material, some five marks, 10 marks. These are important questions. So some five questions or 10 questions, we have to make them learn. We have to coach them to write it. Then that's it, that is, that's it. the syllabus is over. 
uh, and how far it is in their mind, how they are going to apply it, really it is a big question mark. So access to simplified learning material. Yeah, but as per college teaching, I wish everybody to read the complete book, but I don't know whether it is possible. If, uh, for software engineering or uh, computer networks, we are not really uh, reading a computer book, uh, full book start from the starting page till the ending page. We should have that habit of reading. Uh, but now, now if we give 10 questions, also the students are not ready to learn all the 10 questions. They will come and ask, ma'am, you just give the important questions. Okay. So next, knowledge into action. So knowledge is not useful until it is applied in the real time. So knowledge has to be converted into action. Then evaluating outcomes. Uh, while we go for NAC, this is very, very important. They are asking how many of your students are in higher education? How many of them are possessing research? How many of them are in uh, job? So what is their status? What is their ability? What, how many of them have cleared the examination? Uh, so everything, our strategies, our standard is based on the outcomes only, student outcome. But we cannot have much record in this because we are having women candidates and once we have a placement and training in our college campus itself, really 12 members have selected and no one have joined. Because uh, the parents of our uh, side, they want the girl children to do UG or even they are ready to uh, make them learn PG. But sending them to a job, that ratio is very, very less. And the last one is assessment, continuous testing. Uh, we usually follow this. Uh, every week we will keep a test, then if we have two or three internals together, then we will be going for a unit test, we will go for a model test. Before the final examination, they will make them prepare all the five units, they have to learn that is our motto. So Gagnus model, uh, here we have uh, really uh, seven steps, uh, nice seven steps, which starts from gaining the student attention till the continuous assessment. So the Actually, uh, the Kemp design is the last design we have. So Kemp design, uh, here we have six steps. First one is identifying learning goals. So uh, what are all the things can be achieved with this subject? Well, if uh, we are taking the same subject, or I never uh, feel that a war is boring because every year I will change the strategy. Uh, I will uh, change the technique and I, I feel very happy when I solve a problem in the board. Uh, but war problems will go from for the entire board. And uh, now I can feel the difference. Mm, uh, getting sent them is the motto of the first uh, few sets for some four or five sets. Then gradually they told that if we take nine above 90 or 95, it is good. But now they are saying that uh, taking a 70 or taking a pass mark itself is enough. Uh, why ma'am is solving each and every problem in the board? Uh, so they are, if they can pass over the paper, it is enough. And now they are seeing and writing the examination with this online education. Totally it have spoiled the knowledge and the level of the students. So after this five models, I want to share that thing. Online have completely changed the students, how we can recover them, how we can take them back to the colleges. So second one is understanding specific needs. This has to be decided by the student also. Why I came to the college? What is the purpose? Whether to complete just an UG degree, I will be saying the students, those you are, though you are not going to a job, you should gain knowledge because you have to teach your children. You are women candidates and you are about to take care of your family, your children. Never fathers will take care of the children in the education or something like that. We have to do it. So if you gain knowledge only, they will not listen to our words. So you have to prove yourself that mommy knows something or everything or anything. So uh, understanding the specific notes, though they ha don't have the uh, reason to go for a job, to be a mother, that is very, very important. So their need should be promoted in that skill level. Your skill should be, though you are going to use it for job or something others, your skill is very, very important. Then third one is sharing information about objectives. Uh, while well, we see this in the course uh, uh, design, in the starting, we will have objectives and the final thing, we will have outcomes. That is in which objective, which uh, yay, uh, the uh, university have framed this syllabus, for what uh, objective they have keep, kept this paper. We have a mini project paper. While we are learning also, we have that in UG itself, basic computer science, the sixth semester, we have a mini project. 
because it shows that those who are doing M BSc Computer Science or MSc Computer Science, their ultimate aim is to join a software company and to be uh, in a, a software development. So many project will help them. It will uh, tell them how to create a project, how to create the programs, how to integrate it into modules, how to test it with the, uh, the fake data, then how to test it with real data, how to link the programs, make it into a complete project, make it into a software or an application, whatever it is. Uh, sorry, since I'm a computer science staff, I'm using that example. Uh, so you have to tell, if you learn this subject, what you can achieve. Then contents, materials. Usually they are in the universities, they will be giving a, a reference material or textbook. But we cannot say that in college, we cannot use the term textbook. In, up to schools, it is okay. This is your textbook. These are the book back exercises. You should be getting the answers for this. You have to write it. You have to practice. You have to write the exam. Okay. But as per college level, uh, they have to refer everything. Not only a textbook, reference book, reference materials, uh, online, so many websites are there. So what they are going to do, that is contents, mode of delivery, pedagogy. We wish to make the class interesting. The teachers are making more efforts to, if they want to uh, make a PPT, they have to sit, uh, even the colors, uh, brightness, sizes, uh, to make the students see the slide first. Then only, then we have to make them here, uh, see ourselves, to hear what we are saying. They, are, they should be open-minded to take something what we are taking inside the classroom, but totally it was missing. Uh, only they are physically present and I don't know what, what is what is going on inside their mind. Then last one is evaluating learner progress. That is the ultimate aim of all decisions, evaluating learner progress. But we see that the graph is totally going down today. Okay, so we have seen the five models. Uh, the next thing is, the next slide, best model among the five things, which is the best model? I told you that Merrill's principle is most probably related to today's necessity, but it is not a rule that we have to follow a complete model. We have to customize our own training model. What is meant by customization? It That is based upon the necessity of the college students, based upon the teachers, everything we have to frame a model for ourselves. So my ultimate motto in this FDP is to share the thing that so many models are available, but it is not a rule to take any specific model and we have to follow it. We are teachers. We can model anything. So we are going to create our customized model. Just I have few examples how, we, how I am using, how I have bought a model. 